हेलो स्टूडेंट टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट आर न्यू चैप्टर द बैर स्टोरी लेट स्टार्ट देर वॉज वंस अ लेडी हु लिव इन एन ओल्ड मैनर हाउस ऑन द बॉर्डर ऑफ अ बिग फॉरेस्ट वंस देर वॉज अ लेडी हु लिव नियर अ बिग फॉरेस्ट इन एन ओल्ड मैनर हाउस मैनर हाउस हाउस इन कंट्री साइड आर कॉल्ड मैनर हाउस This lady had a pet bear she was very fond of and the lady had a pet bear and she liked it very much it had been found in the forest the lady found the bear in the forest half dead of hunger it was starving so small and helpless that it had to be brought up on the bottle by the lady and the old cook when the lady found that bear it was so small and helpless that she brought it on the bottle with the help of the old cook this was several years ago and now it had grown up to a big bear but now the bear is big so big and strong that he could have slain a cow and carried it away between his two paws if he had wanted to the bear is now big and so strong that it can easily kill a cow slain means killed and carried away between his two paws if he wanted but he did not want to but the bear did not want to do that he was a most amiable bear who did not dream of harming anybody the reason was that the bear was very amiable amiable means friendly and he did not think about to harm anybody man or beast beast means animal he used to sit outside his kennel and look with his small intelligent eyes most amicably at the cattle grazing in the field nearby the bear sat outside his kennel and only looked cattle to graze in the field the three saggy mountain ponies in the stable knew him well and did not mind in the least when he shuffled into the stable with his mister and there are three mountain ponies in the stable and they knew him very well and didn't mind when he entered into the stable with his mistress the children used to ride on his back and had more than once been found asleep in his kennel between his two paws and the children also ride on the back of the bear and more once they were sleeping in the kennel between his two paws the three dogs loved to play all sorts of game with him and there are three dogs and they like to play all sort of games with him they pull the ears of the bear and also his tail and tease him in every way the dogs tease the bear in every way but he did not mind it in the least but the bear is so friendly he didn't mind it he had never tasted meat he ate the same food as the dog and often out of the same plate bread porridge potato cabbage turnip and this was a vegetarian bear he did not taste meat he ate same food and he often ate in the plate of dog like bread porridge potato cabbage and turnip he had a fine appetite and his friend the cook saw it that he got his fill so his friend cook 
always look after that his stomach filled bears are vegetarian if they have a chance if bears have given a chance they become vegetarians also and fruit is what they like best and they like fruit in the autumn he used to sit and look with wistful eyes at the ripening apples in the orchard and in his young days he had been sometimes unable to resist the temptation to climb the tree and help himself to a handful of them and in his young age he was unable to resist his temptation and climb up the tree and pluck handful of apples bears look clumsy and slow in their movements whenever bears walks they look very clumsy means unskilled or slow in their movement but try a bear with an apple tree and you will soon find out that he can easily beat any school boy at that game but when you saw a bear climbing on an apple tree you will find that he can easily beat a school boy now he had learned that it was against the law but now the bear was big and he knew that it was against the law to climb a tree but he kept his small eyes wide open for any apples that fell to the ground but he watched very carefully and waited apples to fall on the ground there had also been some difficulties about the bee hives there had also been some difficulties about the bee hives the bear also like bee hives he had been punished for this by being put on the chain for 2 days with a bleeding nose and he had never done it again when the bear broke the bee hive he was kept on the chain for 2 days and punishment was given to him and he had never done it again otherwise he was never put on the chain except for the night otherwise the mistress of the bear did not chain him he was chained only in the night and quite rightly so for a bear like a dog is apt to get somewhat ill tempered if kept on the chain and no wonder and it was right for a bear if we kept a dog in the chain all time then it become ill tempered and same in the case of bears if we chain the bear it become ill tempered this is the first part of the chapter second part we will cover in our next video